Hello, I'm Kevin. This is Tai Chi Misconceptions. Um, I'm still challenging myself to stand 20 minutes a day in the pose. Uh, I did miss two days last week. I was not feeling good. End of sentence. Ooh. Sometimes that happens, unfortunately. We don't feel good. We lose track of what can be important some days, and uh, we come back to it. There we go. Shoulders just felt great. So, as I now understand it, the trip to developing the power of Ba Jing is in fact the act of pushing your legs into the ground while attempting to keep your hip as stable as possible without raising your hip up, in other words. Creating that. Basically, you're creating power with a different set of muscles. And I don't know how it's supposed to work yet. But now that I understand physically what I'm supposed to be doing. I can try to figure out how it's supposed to work. Now the corkscrew analogy starts to make sense. The idea of uh, your knees being the top of the corkscrew and the corkscrew itself being in your heel and you're trying to tighten it down. While well, maintaining your hip structure The way I do it is I let my mind wander from body section to body section. Try to adjust back into perfect, hold it there as best I can, move my body, my mind somewhere else, readjust that back to as perfect as I can. And when I'm not on a section, I'm not worried about it. I focus entirely on whatever section of the body I'm currently thinking about. And I let the rest of the body be. So I'm not constantly driving my heels into the ground. I'm not constantly lifting up with my calves. Oh, sorry, my quads. I'm not constantly pulling my shoulders down, but when I am, that's what I'm doing. The thought process is I'm trying to create a very conscious act and a very subconscious equilibrium. If I can create through sheer force of will a new equilibrium, then achieving Tai Chi should be simpler.
So a lot of the work I'm currently doing is on my low back. It's the thing I have to correct the most often. And it's the thing that wants to be corrected the least. See, I'm trying to reshape my spine. I've been working on it for a little while. But if you want to shape your spine while standing, you have to get your other core muscles perfect. Ooh, because the spine does not like letting go when you're standing up. And those vertebrae will not move where you want them to if your spine is not willing to relax into where you need it to be. no matter what your chiropractor tells you, doing it by your hand, with your hands, that's not going to fix anything. It may relieve, you know, eventually you got to stop taking the Tylenol and see the doctor about that cut, you know what I'm saying? Having a healthy body, that takes personal hard work. You can't pay someone to do that for you. I mean, I speak as a guy who comes from a body work background. I'm a I'm a deep tissue therapist. I work fixing people. But I mean they're not willing to stop doing the thing in their life that keeps causing their muscles to tighten up in specific ways, then all I can do is maintain maintenance. That's not fixing. It's the same thing as cracking a back, honestly. It's just, you know, it's not going to help long run if people can't change the thing about what they're doing that hurts their body. Right now it hurts like a some bitch, but it's very intentional acute pain caused by my quads being unhappy with the pressure load they're under. Trying to create that C back. The first L took four days off because I was ill. I'm sorry, my quads.
it goes. Be good. Let go. Okay, that hurt a lot. Which sounds to me like a great time to start imagining those screws going into the ground. Let's reinforce whatever it is I just went through. This is why I set a timer and record myself, because I'm not going to do this twice today. So I have to get through it. Sorry that I embarrassed myself. 13 minutes in. That would suck. Okay, that's better. It's a nice 30 seconds of relief from the pain. Now it's just a nice dull roar again. Sometimes you just have to get through it. Like you do the stance long enough and you just reach a point where the pain just gets so bad and you have a choice to make. Do you stop or do you endure? And the problem is, is it is the enduring that creates the results. Stopping doesn't do nothing. I mean, you can get better and better and better and better at doing this longer and longer and longer. But if you're just doing it slow, and avoiding that moment where you have to choose. Are you actually getting your full benefit? That's why the arbitrary timeline. I've been trying it the other way for so long and you know it just never gets the results you want it doesn't I tried it I'm happy I tried it because it taught me what to do and how to do this and it was a good step and a good phase 
there comes a point where you have to move past it. And you have to take yourself seriously. And you have to stand here as it hurts. And say, okay, this sucks. And I'm doing it anyways. Because results. <sighs> Don't take breaks. Don't take breaks. Especially not in the first couple months when you're doing the most work on your tendons. It can take months for tendons to see a difference and even longer for fascia. So this is the kind of thing that requires not only these points of decision, but steady, daily, continual practice of it. But the quads are always going to hurt because you're using them to hold up the rest of your body so you can create relaxation in those tendons and those movement points. You can't turn your spine into a whip if you're uh, erectors are all bound up. There we go, Al. Let it go, let it go, let it go. I don't know what it is, but it's a giant tendon. On the inside of my thigh. I think it's a part of my left quad. Right. My medial right quad. I don't know what the name of that specific muscle is. I know the group, not the specific muscles. I should learn those. Okay, interesting. Let's do this. We have less than a minute to go. And I feel like all my balance points have just changed. So cool. See what we can't do with that. I have push hands tomorrow. Okay. I'm Kevin. This is Tai Chi's Conceptions. Thank you very much for waiting this long. Bye.